Let me introduce um, the Reverend Richard Cruz. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lovely to be here. First time I've been in this church, but I've been past it a hundred times, I think. And also, family connection, because my grandfather managed to get the dining table chairs and sideboard from the Dryden Rectory when that came up for sale, or so he claimed in the 1930s. <laughs> and then if you looked underneath the table, the initials JD were carved into the table. And years later we found out that it was my dad who'd done it. But there you go. <laughs> it's very nice to be here. And really just to reiterate what you've just heard, it's a wonderful initiative, and I'm so glad that the Church's Conservation Trust, which uh, might sound like a sort of museum project in a way, it's not that. It's about uh, sustaining the life of these buildings, buildings that have been at the hearts of communities for hundreds and hundreds of years, places where people have brought the stories of their lives, the beginnings, the ends, the intersections, all that important stuff. That all contributes to the unique atmosphere and feel of these places. Some people say that in a way uh, it's uh, uh, something that's in tension with the historic religious purpose of these buildings, but churches have always been places for the encounter between the divine and the human. In the old days, of course, churches were kind of community centres just as much as they were places uh, dedicated for the worship of God. So those two things come together quite appropriately, I think. And I'm just very, very happy that people are going to come here and experience this building however they choose to experience it. Pick up some of those stories, I hope, and maybe connect to the great story that underlies it and, and all other churches too. And so I'm going to offer a blessing. A blessing for Champion. A blessing for everyone who comes here and enjoys this building and shares in the experience. Everyone who thereby comes to know of the warm and the inclusive and the generous embrace of God. And as Jesus says, finds a home, a home for the homeless, even if it is just for one night. So a blessing on everybody here, a blessing on your project. Amen to that. Amen. Thank you, Richard. Thank you very much for those very kind words.